In the studio, I'm now joined by uh, Mboneni Moope. He is uh, from the Department of uh, Science and Technology, and we are talking uh, biotechnology. Thanks very much indeed for coming through, um, Mboneni. I think let's begin for a lot of people by just defining the concept of biotechnology itself. What is it? What do you guys do? So, so the concept of biotechnology is really the exploitation of uh, biological material. It could be plants, it could be animals. Uh, but mainly to the benefit of society. So you're looking at three main areas in terms of our bioeconomy strategy in South Africa. We're looking at health, we're looking at uh, food security, generally agriculture, but also environmental protection as well. Yeah. So basically we're looking at the continent that is uh, blessed with, bio with biodiversity, yeah. and how do we then utilize that to benefit society yeah. in terms of making sure... Have we control. begun on that front? We have started. I mean, there's a lot of work that has been happening, and uh, critical aspects of that is in the area of indigenous knowledge systems, of course, because right. there's a lot that our people, our older yes, generations have been doing with our plants and animals. Yeah curing themselves, etc. So Can you work with that? Revisiting, yes, we're revisiting that. Because ultimately what you want to do is to try and verify some of the claims. Right. Now using the modern scientific methods. For yeah. example, if they say this plant can cure this and this, yeah. you'll be able to look at uh, what are the uh, ingredients that are in that plant that can actually do that. I'm smiling because I'm sure, I'm sure you and I have seen these posters on the roads that can do X yeah. and you know you want a loved one back, they'll get you your loved one back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to do X with what they get you one back. <laughs> and I'm thinking if we can get <laughs> some of these knowledge systems and uh, you know, yeah. uh, use them it would make a big difference. Yeah, so, so biotechnology is not going to do that for you. <laughs> Surely what we're looking at for example is now we know with the adverse weather conditions, we've yeah. got climate change, how do you actually still grow plants uh, under those conditions? Right. And you cannot just do that with uh, ordinary seeds. So you therefore need to look at how do you select for uh, better seeds so that you can get uh, higher yields. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and that happens throughout whether you're looking at fruits and vegetables, etc. Yeah. That's the one area. The other area, of course, in the area of health is how do we look at uh, utilizing these technologies to develop better vaccines, right. uh, better drugs, um, and just ensuring that even the food that we eat is not really just about feeding your stomach, but it's also nutritional. Yeah. So you, you're organizing a conference around this. What exactly are you focusing on at that particular uh, So the focus is yeah. going to be in all those areas I've mentioned. We're going to have okay. the, the, the pillar on health. We're going to have the pillar on agriculture, the pillar on indigenous knowledge systems, yeah. and the one pillar on uh, industrial biotechnology. Who's coming? Um, we got, uh, obviously, it's going to be uh, opened by uh, our Minister of Science and Technology, Minister Kubayan Gubane. Yes. And then we've got um, some confirmed, uh, I think one confirmed minister from uh, uh, Uganda. Okay. And then we also yeah, are going to Yeah, they also have a lot of that, do they? Yes. Yeah. And we also are going to be having uh, uh, representatives from industry, from go other government departments, because yeah. the biospace touches into agriculture, environment, yeah. uh, health. So we're going to have representation of those ministries, yeah. universities, huh. uh, science councils, um, mm -hmm. researchers, and also uh, captains of industry, not only local, but also international. Yeah. This Ultimately, what do you want to do when you're bringing in all these voices? We bring all these yeah. uh, stakeholders. Uh, one area is for them to, to, to actually just share knowledge. Uh -huh. Because what we have seen is that there's a lot of knowledge out there, but people don't know that it is there. Mm -hmm. So you find that... And uh, they get confused by pseudo-knowledge. Yes, yeah. exactly. People in industry don't know that universities are doing excellent work that they can actually buy into. And uh, in terms of uh, universities, the students also need opportunities in terms of employment. They need yeah. to know who, which are the companies out there yeah. and what else they can really look at as entrepreneurs yeah. in terms of technology that they can Yeah, because we constantly we keep hearing about how these other companies from other parts of the world are coming yeah. up with these new medicines, with these new drugs. I mean, we know the number of problems that yeah. we have in Africa with our diseases here, and yet very few times you get to hear actually that it's an African yeah. who has discovered maybe a cure of this or maybe something for that. Exactly. This, this is really now relating to issues of intellectual property ownership. Does and that's going to come into the conversation that's, that's as well. That's also going to be coming to the conversation yeah. so that we don't just give away our knowledge cheaply. Yeah. You, you have Nor to our raw materials it. in the ground. Yes. These guys are coming and digging yeah. in our forests, right? You, you've got, and, and even in terms of just, you know, some of these uh, critical drugs that people are, use, are using to cure this and that, you may find that some of these plants are actually um, indigenous to Africa. Mm. And 
They are being used by some of the bigger multinational companies out there. Yeah. So if we are able to then make people aware that when you got knowledge, protect it, and then you can actually um, then sell it out or license it to yeah. those who want. I dare say a majority of them are from the African continent. Oh, oh yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so, so at the end of the conference, what are you producing? So at the end of the conference, um, there's a lot of expectation. One is we also are attracting uh, investments. Th this conference has uh -huh. got other international sisters and brothers. For example, we just came out of the uh, the one in, in the USA, which is called Bio US, uh, USA. Okay. Um, so y when you bring these people together, you also have deals uh -huh. that actually get clinched. You find that okay. some of the entrepreneurs are still small, but they've got good technologies that they can sell to the bigger Guys. Companies, yeah. So these are the sort of things that also come up. And then in terms of collaborations for those who are doing research, yeah. also you have, the, you have that coming into, into the fourth as well. I'm hoping certainly one day we'll be able to write and say that uh, one of the deals was struck at this particular conference and there was one no, that came. We're looking forward to that. Yeah, we will expect Bonani, thanks yeah. very much for coming it's in. It's a pleasure. Bro. As Bonani Muope, he is uh, the Deputy Director General of Technology Innovation from the Department of Science and Technology.